Hello, today I'll be showing you how to install Ghidra for reverse engineering and malware analysis. Now the requirements will include Windows 7 or 10 64-bit, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 1 gigabyte of storage, but this is only for the Ghidra binary itself, not any project that you may create. Now first, what you're going to want to do is install the latest Ghidra zip file on the Ghidra GitHub page. Now, while that downloads, we can go to Adoptium and install the latest JDK that the Ghidra developers recommend, that being 21. I'm on Windows X64. And you don't want to get the JRE, you want to get the JDK. The MSI. Okay, now that's done downloading, we can go ahead and start to set it up. Okay, now that that's done installing, we, can, we have to add the file path to our JDK to our environment variable path. Once here, we can double click on path to edit it. And here I still have my path from a previous setup on this machine. I'm gonna delete that. Here we're just gonna use the browser. And then usually the install is under local disk, program files, and Eclipse Adoptium. And there it is. Now it's added to the path and just click OK to confirm. Now the JDK version required for Ghidra is installed, so we can go through the process of unpacking the Ghidra zip file and installing uh, Ghidra. That's going to take a while. OK, it's done now. Now we go into the unzip folder and make sure to click the Ghidra run bat file. Not the normal file, that's for Linux machines. Click Ghidra run. It's installing. Now Ghidra is installed. Normally there would be a man page uh, that is for offline use, but because this is a second time installing Ghidra on this machine, it doesn't pop up here. Now under file, we can create a new project, open a new project, delete a project, restore project, which uses Ghidra's own archive file type. We can configure Ghidra itself how it works. We can install in extensions as well. And here are some of those. And we can exit Ghidra. Now that should be it. Thank you for watching, and if you like this, check out my links, my LinkedIn, and my GitHub.